And yeah, we're just having an extremely tough time getting any barley in here at all. Yeah, so we're going to make out like bandits. We're going to bezel all the funds. Pharaoh is going to be happy with us, regardless. Our prosperity is where it needs to be. The only thing is kingdom reigning. And I think maybe I... It the kingdom rating only fell a city request grain? Grain? We don't have grain. I guess we can import grain. God, the frickin' we imported it and then these granaries snagged all the grain. Still at it? Yep, I'm still here. Alright, who stole the fucking grain? Did it twice, they stole the grain twice. Alright, we actually got the grain. Good, we needed it. Alright. Pharaoh's a little pissed with us because of the amount of money we're taking out. So we'll stop paying ourselves so incredibly much and satisfy some of these these requests. So let's see, do we have gods? Do we have a Ra? We do not know about Ra. Alright, well, maybe we can get a few of the god stumbles out here. Let's get our temple complex to Ta. like we could build it if we just move this road one tile over. Awesome, that'll help out. And what do we... The other shrines. So we'll get six of each. Alright, that should be plenty of shrines. Let's throw down the. Festival Square. I guess we're just gonna throw it down over here because no reason not to. And let's hold a festival to Basque, maybe?
Lavish Festival, all the cool stuff. Alright. We have plenty of pottery going in. All that's working. Plenty of food, everything is filled. Yeah, alright, we have plenty of clay. I think we're just going to let this run at 100% here, and um, I just hold a few festivals and stuff like that. And we're going to see exactly what we can do with a lot of this. Because I don't want to give a gift to Pharaoh. I'd like to fulfill missions to get our kingdom rating up. Because I don't want to spend a bajillion dollars just to send a gift to win the mission. I'd rather win the mission and keep the money. Spam some gardens down here, make it look all pretty. Or gaudy, whichever one you think. <laughs> Got the Master Sword, what? You get the Master Sword in a, in a game with Link and Zelda? Well, good job, Lucas. Now you can become the true hero. And with the Sword of Evil's Bane, you'll be able to. Defeat evil. I guess they really, really, really want me to give a gift. Well, we'll dispatch a lavish gift then and win the game. <laughs> Immediately, we won. Pay to win, the definition of it. Well done. The tomb for Totmos the First is complete. An extraordinary accomplishment. Pharaoh is confident that such a beautifully decorated tomb will please the gods and speed his journey into the afterlife. Alright, so we have beaten that mission. Let's see what the next one's about. 1500? Wow. A terrible tragedy has befallen our beloved young Pharaoh, Tutankhamun. His reign, which once held much promise of glory, has been unmercifully cut short by the hand of fate. It is time for the workers of Dai El Medina to again prepare an eternal resting chamber for the Pharaoh. With his unexpectedly early death, it is imperative that you compel your workers to exert maximum effort. Tutankhamun's tomb must be fully stocked with provisions for his journey into the afterlife and ready to receive his hallowed remains within a few very short years. Speed is of the utmost importance. Months to complete mission, 96. Okay, so we basically have to speed run this frickin' temple, this monument. Where even can we put this damn thing? Can we rotate it? No. So it's all the all the hell the way back here is what it looks like. It's the only place to put it. Okay, so we need lamps. Artists and everything else. Roman making that proper. It's the same map as before. Um, but they started us off with a lot more money. Does it have the same stuff? Uh, lettuce, chickpeas, and henna. So we don't have... What was the last one? Flax? So we don't have linen. Um, we have clay pits still. Basically, what do we even need? We... All we need is 1,500, yeah, zero culture, zero prosperity, 
So it doesn't matter what we do, we just need to make money. So we can make some really cheap places. We don't need to worry about clay or whatever else. So what I think we are probably going to do then is we're going to build our city on this side of the water. Well, all our production. That way we can trade better. So production will be over here. Yeah, that's a decent, decent plan. All right. Well, I'm going to take a very quick break. I'll be back in just a minute or two. And then we can continue on this mission. All right, well, let's get back to let's get back to this. All right, so it's going to be speed. We have 96 months, so if I do my math properly, you know, and it's like seven or eight years, and we played for like 200 months last time, so we have about half as much time as we did before. And what we need to do is prioritize 
getting our workers working on that too, right? So that means lamps and and all that. So we need to, to import stuff basically immediately and get it working. Um, we also need food and all that. Maybe we can just work off of one dock. We don't need a big town, just 1,500 people. So I'm guessing what we should do is just basically build the... Build off of the basic area in yeah okay we're gonna we're gonna get people first um, so to get people we're going to get our water crossing right here basically because we're gonna need workers just right off the bat quickest way to do that is to place houses and we want to place these houses close to the edge of the map. Right. These people are going to come up. One, two, three, four. So workers will quickly get assembled here. Oh no, we screwed up our... Oh, we can't actually build any farther over. Alright, so that's there. And then we're going to need this area here. We need that for the water supply. One, two, three, four. So if we're going to speed this whole thing up, it's going to have to look something like this. And I guess a third? Yeah, we're gonna need more. We're just gonna need more people, so. Yeah, the, the, how I count these roads basically is by the price. And right now, counting to 80 is. What I'm work looking for for some of those. Unlike the last mission, which bombed horribly when we started it off um, by putting way too much stuff, I think this one's going to work very well for us, because most of the time I set up a whole bunch of stuff all at once, and we move pretty quickly, but then I run out of money. So hopefully my hastiness with building stuff actually kicks us into high gear for doing this mission. Alright, so we're going to need to, let's see what our trade routes are. We're going to need lamps pretty much immediately. So these guys will sell oil. Right. Land trade routes for oil. These guys will buy paint on water. So buy henna and pottery on water. Water. For all this. Alright, so 
Ijwani is their set. So water, water, they're gonna buy chickpeas, pottery. Chickpeas, pottery, and paint. Cool. Alright. No working dock. That's fun. Alright. We're going to need chickpeas. So let's get started building our farms. I just want to get the farms out there so that I can actually place them without running out of time. Oh no. I screwed up the placement of one of these things. Gotta demolish this. Lettuce as well. All right. Let us make lettuce. And we'll need henna, and we're going to need to start getting paint very quickly, I guess. Now, the reason we're getting both crops is because there might be a mission to get some of those and provide them. So we might want to get ahead of that. Alright, and over here, we're going to need farms as well. I should. Where are the people? They're not showing up. ditch down the middle, I'll be able to at least build like this. Right, let's get our henna farms. Irrigation ditch down the middle. Road out and around. And then henna again. Why not more lettuce? And one chickpea just in the middle, just to confuse everybody. Like, why in the hell? Alright, well, let's uh, get people moving into the city, question mark? <laughs> Crap, okay, so my strategy of quickly getting people was not a valid strategy because everybody comes from this direction <laughs> on this map this time. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, never mind.
And that is a... <laughs> out of money. Alright, good. Well, we built our giant road to nowhere. So there's no reason for me to have built this at all. Damn it! Ah! What a stupid mistake. To meet me to expect that on the same map people would come from the same location. Well, regardless... Yeah, this isn't going to work over here either. We need that space. So, this one farm down here is just ho hosed. So, let's just get rid of it. Let's get our police station. What are What's the god situation? We've got Ra and Osiris. Ra is our patron god. So a temple to Ra. We're going to want our water supply. Our bazaar. Our physician. And our apothecary. Alright, so we'll get employees and all that running. And let's make sure we get our... I'm actually going to want to immediately make... farmers. Alright, so infrastructure, health and sanitation, then food production is three. Alright. Let's get a dock. Put the storage yard right behind it. Why did I put my roadblocks? Um, where the ones in the in between the middle circle and the outer circle? Uh, basically, all these service dudes in the middle will walk on this middle circle, which is just the right length, and the outer circle allows like job. The, the employment dudes to like walk and get people to work whereas all like the high value stuff like I, I don't have to put a temple out over here ever and wh why would I want a, a priest walking out through the industrial zone the only thing people that need to walk outside are the employer dudes and um, and like fire firemen and stuff like that so that's why if that was your question Get out of the way, freaking stupid settlers. Yeah, that's that's the plan basically is all all the the workers inside of here are kinda high value, right? You'll have your magistrate in your courthouse you'll have you know all the expensive buildings and all that scribal schools and kind of puts them all in one spot so you don't have to worry about it alright so I guess if we can import oil what are we gonna import we're gonna get half the art of paint we're gonna export paint we can't export much though. I guess pottery. Well, it wasn't my idea. I'm copying other people who have studied this game far more than I. Architect. 
tech post, the police station, the... I guess you can't farm up a whole bunch of money for this during this mission. Because it's not going to be very long. Alright, we need the physician and an apothecary. I just keep clicking on the wrong thing. I think I would have known the alphabet by now. Oh, <laughs> the settlers got swallowed up by the <laughs> by the inundation. Nice. Alright, we got our firehouse and our architect post, and what are we going to import and export? Uh, we're going to export, we're going to import oil, and we're going to export paint. And I guess we'll export henna, and we will export chickpeas. Alright, so we'll fill this up with chickpeas and we'll export it. Alright, so we're going to throw down a storage yard. We're going to accept... Um, Except half lamps and half oil, and then we're going to get our lamp makers. I don't know how many lamp makers we actually need, so we're just gonna get three. I because I don't think we're gonna need that many overall. And we're going to throw down our mansion, and then we're going to pay ourselves. Wait, we don't have any money? We didn't get any money from last mission. Son of a bitch. Oh, that sucks. Alright, well, that was a... Can I undo and get the money back? Alright, thank you. Uh, no, I, I think I played some Caesar 3, but I never played Zeus or Emperor. And by all these games, I, I probably was more referring to Pharaoh and Cleopatra as multi multiple titles, because I think I played Pharaoh when it came out, and then when Cleopatra came out, I played it again. Then. Alright, I'm gonna want the Town Palace. We're in debt now. Yay, debt. And how are we going to get money? What's our employment at? Zero? We're pretty much going to have to do the whole like clay pit sort of stuff and um, export pottery if we're going to have any sort of luck. And we probably have screwed the beginning of this map just completely by virtue of building on the wrong side of the river. I would not be surprised if that was the case. A storage yard, throw it down for clay. They did it after Caesar and Pharaoh. Well, it depends. Um, I think that studio went through lots of different things. Like, I, th I think a lot of people have said that Pharaoh was always their favorite one. 
and I worked with one of the guys uh, who, who made Pharaoh, uh, designed it when I was at EA. And it was, it was very much like Pharaoh was the game that was, they all liked the most. And I don't think they ever hit it again with the same stuff. But I'll have to I'll have to try out Emperor at some point. Right, we need paint, so that's gonna be henna. Did we actually get henna down? Yeah, we did. All right, so let's let's get some henna henna there and paint the other one. I'll just get half henna, half paint. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, Lorazo, I worked in the game industry, I have worked in the game industry for eight years. And I'm working on a game right now. Um, I'm an indie game dev now. I saved up enough money after working at Amazon most, re most recently. And I am now trying my hand at independent game development. Which means I don't make any money, and I'm working with this guy, Adam Phillips, who's a great artist over in Australia. So I'm, it's, it's pretty funny. I'm basically camped out in a, in, a, in a basement working on stuff all the time. And I, I stream on Twitch all the time because basically trying to build up any sort of community and get comfortable doing my own kind of marketing and all that. All right, let's make sure we're importing. We're importing, exporting, exporting, exporting. Pottery is exportable. We'll also export that. So I'm on Twitch not only because I just want to stream games and have fun, but because hopefully we'll be streaming my own game when it comes out and everybody can enjoy that. So I've been streaming a bunch of game development. Alright, so we've got all of this. Um, we're going to need our physician, our bazaar, an apothecary. Alright, cool. That should. Work. One thousand people now. Call the city. Oh. I don't know why they'd ever want to live here. Thank you. Hopefully I don't need it. Yeah, so far, independent game development has been quite a bit of fun. The question, of course, will be, can I keep myself sane long enough to actually finish the game? And then beyond that... Or if we're gonna be make any money off of the game, <laughs> and will we be able to hold it together until until then? All right, I'm going to need granaries, and we're gonna run out of the ability to spend money here very quickly. So we're gonna need granaries. And we're almost out of disposable income. Right, so, granary. Granary over there, and we're pretty much hosed for, for, for money. Just like that. So we're going to pop down a stonemason's guild, and a Artisan skill. <laughs> Alright, and we can't build anything, so either we're gonna win or we're gonna lose. I 
love the art of the deal. I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to trade my supplies. 400 lettuce. Yeah, well. Let's see, we want half lettuce and half chickpeas. What does this accept? Chickpeas and pottery and paint. Yeah. Because what I really should have done is I should have just built like the city as as close to as close to um, the edge as possible. That way, I would have had a lot more time, and I would have been able to immediately start farming. And there's absolutely no reason to go over here. There's just a reason to make like two docks right here, and or just like a dock and an extra storage yard or whatever. So this map, we probably just screwed it up to begin with. I also thought we were going to have more money uh, with our uh, mansion, but of course we did not, so that also sucks. So we'll see. We might be able to pull ourselves out of our hole very quickly, but I doubt it. So we'll just run it. We'll see what happens. Alright, we can at least compl comply with Pharaoh's request for goods. And we'll be able to start trading here. <laughs> we didn't make any... We didn't make any potters. Alright, that was really dumb. So we're not going to be able to sell pottery, which means we're probably completely screwed. The next inundation will come because we didn't build any religious structures. We have completely screwed up this map. Alright, so they're asking for lettuce, and we can't build anything, so we're just going to run out of money and lose. City health is worsening. There's a serious risk of plague. So it looks like our money makers are paints and henna and all that. We're gonna kind of run this wages fall. Oh, interesting. We can actually pay a quite quite a bit less. Well, I mean, the other thing is we might just be able to win. Even though we're in absolutely crushing debt, like, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stop us from winning the, the game. We don't have to win it with um, anything other than just a whole lot of don't give a damn. So why is health so freaking bad? Is it just these people don't have any food? So... Yeah, that, made, that would make sense. We've been selling all of our food.
health is improving. All right, cool. And um, we're also going to want to make some shrines to Osiris real quick. And let's see. Osiris is pissed. Ah. Disease strikes. Eight months to comply. I need more henna. These people just want tons of stuff. They want all the food. Increased trading. Because you have sent 500 bales of henna, they will trade even more stuff. Alright, we're going to get half of those. Half and half. Alright, quarter, quarter, quarter. That works. Compliance is now possible. No! There's no more compliance. Compliance is now impossible. We can't get luxury goods. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's probably... We need weapons and pottery and all sorts of sh... Ugh. You guys have to walk all the hell the way over here. How do we get workers over here? I mean, I guess we could build like a little slum crappy work area way back here. And fill it with people. Like this little area or something, right? So this, this mission is pretty much screwed, but we're playing it through. See if we can scrounge out <laughs> scorpions in the in the floodplains. They don't give two shits. Alright, so we need to be able to accept more chickpeas. Interesting. Chickpeas and henna, or just not enough of. Accept a quarter and accept order. are actually coming back here. Position. Alright, we're gonna need a storage yard. I want to fill that storage yard with paint. Lamps and clay. And let's get construction skills. Oh, 
and our kingdom standing is still zero because we're just so buried in debt. Pharaoh's gonna come out here and just wreck our faces. Yeah, I guess we really need, if these guys are walking all the way out there, and I just need to look at how they actually work on these tombs, because I think they're, they're coming in here, and there's, there's only like one or two working at a time. And... If they have to walk all this distance, they're pretty much toast, so I kind of have to make like little areas out here. So this guy's walking back, and I don't see anybody else, you know, doing anything. Like, these guys are walking back and forth, but they're not walking to the tomb. At all. This guy is hauling just like a million lamps. They have 200 units of lamps. I mean, we should be importing oil. We don't have any oil, though. Where'd the oil go? Alright, so we don't need nearly as many farms. Yeah, it looks like basically what should be prioritized is getting pottery. Crops. We can get a lot of crops real easily. That is definitely not a problem. Risks disease. Like, why are these guys? They must just be having problems with food. Hmm. Maybe I made it one square too big. See if we can just get more construction skills up here. I mean, these guys are running out there basically one at a time. And I wonder if kind of these random walks here of those guys, if they were close enough to the tomb that these random dudes walking around would actually like walk into the tomb 
and fix stuff. And like basically what you're supposed to do is camp out your workers literally right next to the tomb. Because <laughs> they're going up there, spending like two seconds hacking away at it, and then they leave. In 12 months to win the mission. You know, like, obviously we're not even going to win it. Because there's no way in hell we'd be able to get our kingdom rating up there. Any, I guess it's 12 months to, to build the tomb. It's not 12 months to complete the mission, maybe? Yeah, and two or three of these people can work on it at once. But yeah, out of time. Alright, replay. Alright, well, we're going to go with what we learned from last time, which was don't be an idiot. Or, you know, basically start off as soon as we can here. One, two, three, four, five. So the other thing that might be interesting here is there are a ton of meadow farms right here. It would maybe not be a bad plan to get metal farms for specific things like henna or whatever because they'll just work more consistently So we probably also don't need more than a couple housing blocks here. We could get three housing blocks just because, though. Let's get our tomb placed over here. I'm also going to save this one because I think we know what we're doing now. Is there a better view here? This area? 